Elisha, the prophets have told you Elijah will be leaving us soon. What are you doing? <sighs> Master! What did the prophets tell you in Jericho, Elisha? Master, they told me that soon you would be taken away. The Lord wants me to go to the Jordan River, but you must stay here. I swear by the living Lord and by your own life that I will never leave you. The story of Elijah and Elisha may be the most obvious example of mentorship in the Bible. It reveals a lot about the roles of the protege and mentor. In his first meeting with Elijah, Elisha is willing to give up his job, his family, and the life he has built so far in order to follow after a man who offers him mentorship. Elisha served Elijah for six years before Elijah was ushered into heaven. Elijah told Elisha three times to stay behind, but his assistant refused each time. Others were looking on from afar, but Elisha wanted a close-up and personal look at what God was about to do in Elijah's life. Only the one who had persevered was left with the double portion, not those watching from afar. A protege must be willing to stick close to a mentor even when it is difficult to do so. And Elijah said unto him, Terry, I pray thee here, for the Lord hath sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And the two went on. When they first met, Elijah draped his cloak over Elisha's shoulders, but it wasn't yet time for him to assume the mantle of the prophet. However, after Elisha had proven himself to be a faithful assistant, Elijah left him his cloak as a symbol that it was now time for the younger man to fulfill the plans God had for him. Rather than rejoicing that his time had come, Elisha was heartbroken to see his mentor depart, demonstrating that he wasn't serving Elijah solely to advance his own career. He picked up the cloak that Elijah had left for him after he had mourned. We are often led to believe that it is the mentor's responsibility to pursue the protege. But this biblical account reveals that Elisha's success was found in the protege's relentless pursuit of his mentor. It can be difficult to be under the tutelage of another. We are sometimes asked to do difficult things. Perhaps our perception of the mentor is challenged when we learn about the humanity of someone we admire. However, the reward is great for those protégés who persevere through these difficulties until the day comes when the baton is clearly passed on to them. Be there.